Hi, I'm Anita. I work freelance as a personal and corporate stylist and in this video I'm going to talk about how to choose a winter coat or in fact how to choose the perfect coat that suits your lifestyle, budget and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first thing you have to decide when you um, are buying a coat is what is um, the coat's end purpose, what do you need it for? Um, do you need it for work? Do you need it for dog walking? Do you need to keep yourself dry? Do you need it for commuting? So it's really important when you're buying a coat, because they can be quite expensive, um, is to decide what its end use is. And it's got to fit your lifestyle because you could go shopping, you could be very easily distracted because there are some beautiful coats out there on the high street and online. So if you go shopping for a coat with focus, i.e. what do I need it for, and I'm just going to buy a coat that suits its end purpose, um, then you are more than likely to come home with a fantastic purchase that you wear lots. So when it is absolutely bitterly, bitterly cold um, in the winter, I have a down coat. This is a full length black down coat and it is so super warm it feels like a duvet. So this is what I would wear in the depth of winter. Um, you can't get down wet, you have to be very careful and if you do wash it then you have to dry it in a tumble dryer otherwise it all uh, congeals inside and, it, and it's, just a, it's just a mess. So a down coat is really good for when it's very very cold. I have two smart coats that I use for work in the winter a lot. Um, one is a black coat. Uh, it's 100% wool, it's from Jaeger, but um, wool coats can be quite expensive, especially if they're fully lined. So if you want to get a wool blend coat, so say wool with polyester, then that will be cheaper. So that is really fit for purpose. It's when I have to be super smart if I'm visiting clients in the city, that sort of thing. And then I've got um, another coat which I've had for absolutely years from um, Rickles. Uh, I call it my vintage coat. And this is a bit more colourful, a bit more playful, and I absolutely love it. It's got lots of texture on it and it's 100% wool again. Um, I do prefer to wear natural fibres, but you know, sometimes um, budget doesn't allow that. So both of these I have and I still wear lots because they are smart coats that I, that I need for work and they work very well for me. Then I have this lovely Max Mara coat. It's unlined, um, it's 100% wool. You could get a double-faced woolen coat as well, which would be um, quite lightweight as well. And this is a great coat because um, it's what I call my transitional coat. So it takes me from um, summer into autumn and then from winter into spring. Um, it's lightweight, it's a lovely colour, it's beautifully made. So a transitional lightweight coat is a really important item in my wardrobe and it's something that um, you might need in your wardrobe too because um, it doesn't have the bulk but it's also warm for chilly mornings etc etc. And then when it's absolutely chucking it down with rain and I need to get to work and I have my hands full, I've got a wheelie suitcase, I've got something on my shoulder, I've got a handbag, all sorts of things like that. And I need a coat that's waterproof with a hood. This is what I wear. It's by a company called Sea Salt um, and it's absolutely brilliant. It keeps me dry so I don't rock up to work looking like a soggy mess. Um, and I tend to have a wash and blow dry quite regularly for work. So the good thing is this hood makes sure that my hair stays in place. So a waterproof coat like that is brilliant. And you could also use this for uh, walking, dog walking, etc. So I tend to wear this a lot at the weekend when I'm out and about with the children. And then I think another um, coat that's really important to have in your wardrobe is a raincoat. It could be a MAC, it could be a trench coat. This is um, one I've got. It is waterproof. So when you buy a MAC trench coat, don't assume that it will be waterproof. Check with the sales assistant, check um, um, on the labels that it is, because sometimes they're not. 
and um, this one is belted and I like belted coats because I've got what we call a um, neat owl glass shape so I do look good in more fitted clothes and something that cinches me in at the waist so this is my lightweight Mac um, and it's also good for going to work when there's a little bit of a nip in the air and then it warms up um, during the day so this is a nice light layer This is another smart, lightweight coat I've got, and I absolutely love the texture on, on that coat. Um, and I do actually wear this with jeans, but also it's really suitable for work. So it's slightly smarter than, than a Mac. It's not waterproof, but it's nice and lightweight, so it's something that I wear um, in the summer mainly. And then, completely impractical, but a very light waterfall cream coat. Um, they are very practical, admittedly. Um, when you're commuting, if you're wearing a coat like this, you don't really want to sit on the tube. Um, but this is from Zara, it's about 12 years old. But the great thing about it is that it's machine washable, so, so I wash it quite regularly. And um, yeah, it's a lightweight cream coat, it's polyester, um, but it's really smart and I like wearing it with um, dark, strong colours. I often get asked about um, the hemline of clothes and um, skirts and dresses and the hemline of the coat and does it matter if the skirt or the dress is longer than the coat? Um, absolutely really doesn't matter. What is more important is that the coat is fit for purpose, it suits your lifestyle um, and whether you see the hemline of the skirt or dress is irrelevant. The other thing that I am really hot on is sleeve lengths. So wherever your wrist bone ends, that's where your sleeve length should end. Again, uh, I was a tailoring buyer for Marks and Spencer and that was one of the rules of um, uh, jackets and coats that we learned. So wherever your wrist bone ends, that's where your cuff of your jacket or coat should end. As you can see from my coats, they tend to all fall just below the knee and um, that suits, um, suits me very well. I don't actually like coats that are um, too short or down to my ankles. It just doesn't work for me because I just find that they're too bulky. Um, also, um, I'm quite petite, so if I um, buy a coat, I try not to go for something too bulky with the exception of the uh, big down coat because I just look like a Michelin man. So for instance, I love the faux fur coats, but I've tried on loads, they just don't suit my body shape, so I've had to say no and reject the ones that I really like. Also with a winter coat, choose a style and shape that's really flattering on you. So for instance, an inserted sleeve will make you look less bulky than a drop shoulder. If you're quite petite, don't have really big lapels and really big cuffs and really big buttons that will overwhelm you. So really do find a coat that works for your shape. Um, and then you'll look amazing in it and you'll feel amazing in it and you'll wear it lots and lots and lots. So for instance, I had to reject a faux fur coat. It was just too bulky for me, but something like this is really smart for work. So if you've liked my video and my top tips, please follow me on Instagram at Fern Clark Style and on YouTube, my channel is Fern Clark Style, so please do subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.